G'day Internet, it's been a while since I've recorded a video to camera. Um, normally I just reply to other people's videos, but I thought I'd better make a sort of a statement. A lot of my videos are about atheism and um, anyway. So why am I an atheist and you may not be? When I think of, of why I'm an atheist, I think about the talking snake, Noah's Ark, and how did the koalas get to the Ark? And, how come the Bible doesn't mention dinosaurs when it starts at the creation of the universe? And I think, how dumb do you think I am? Now, for you believers who might infer that I think that theists are therefore dumb, it, it doesn't really enter my brain. This is a purely personal thing. I'm feeling insulted that somebody would expect me to fall for this con. Like I said, I'm not thinking theists are dumb. I don't think theists are all dumb. I mean, honestly, swear to God, I think I don't have a lot of respect for for the intellectual prowess of, of some theists, uh, but they're the noisy ones, the visible ones, the ones you see on YouTube a lot. Uh, the great majority, I'm sure, are just fine people. I've met theists that have perfectly acceptable mental faculties. I'm reminded of the scientist that Richard Dawkins might have uh, mentioned in his book. Uh, said something like, I know that a lot of things in the Bible are unproven and even unlikely scientifically, but my wife and children, brothers and sisters are all Christians. I don't wish to hurt them or distance myself from them in any way. Besides, when I I enjoy going to church, the fellowship, the feeling I get when filled with the Holy Spirit. So if it's a choice between science and God, there's no competition. And I believe he gave up his area of investigation, or perhaps it was paleontology. I, I'm just taking this from my fallible human memory. So I'll put a link in the comments uh, to an article about a researcher who injected Buddhist monks and Catholic nuns with a mildly radioactive tracer wherein the monks were meditating and the nuns were praying and he imaged the blood flow in the brain using single photon emission computed tomography or SPECT. He found increased blood flow in the frontal lobe uh, because they were concentrating and decreased blood flow in the parietal lobe and, and this is the area of the brain that orients us in 3D space that tells me I'm 50 centimetres away from the camera or one and a half metres away from the door. Um, so to an extent these people lost their ability to to separate themselves from the universe. I think that's the Holy Spirit. Um, follow the next page on that link page and it talks of another scientist who can stimulate that feeling uh, you, by disrupting the brain with regular electrical pulses. Now Richard Dawkins is said to have tried it and all he felt was a tingling in his leg. Now I suspect pretty much the same would happen for me. I've never felt the Holy Spirit so there's no dopamine reward for me when I and then a church, it doesn't make me feel good. Just out of place. Uh, but for most people, there is a reward, that nice feeling from religion. And I don't think you're dumb because you're wired for a reward that I'm not. It does perhaps make me more questioning, more able to accept an unpopular viewpoint. I'm a New Zealander and I think nuclear power is cool. Now, if that's not blasphemy, what is? And both types of brain are probably needed. Religion is, is a tribal thing, a cohesive thing. I'm sure a lot of religious people do it to be part of and accepted by society. Probably the people that feel the Holy Spirit strongly are the minority. For the rest, maybe not so much. but. Peer pressure is a very powerful thing. I mean, look at kids. If one child gets an iPhone, everybody else has just got to have one or else they'll just die. And I think a little bit of that kid still lives on you and me. Well, 
Maybe not so much with me. I'm more of a curmudgeon, you know, I don't care that my car is 13 years old, my computer's an old pink MD, or my cell phone is a, an old Nokia 6680, <laughs> you know. Oh, cool, Mandelbrot's. And, uh, I gain pleasure out of learning how stuff works. Um, you know, that's my kind of revelation, that's my jolt of dopamine. I, I read about giant bubbles of gamma rays above and below the galaxy and it gives me a little micro high for you, maybe me. Um, you get your micro high in church, um, singing hymns. I would feel meh. Peace.